So, me and my brothers have come up with a ridiculous strategy, so ridiculous that we have not lost a game in probably 30 or 40 games. Uh, it's that overpowered of playing online for Age of Empires 3. And the key to this strategy, uh, if you just want to do this by yourself, is you are going to have to play as China. And I'll let my brother talk a little bit and tell you what cards you need to pull this off and why. There is a unit in the game called the Ming Iron Troop. Uh, I would say it's the most overpowered unit in the entire game. It needs to get patched, like, immediately, because the people that we've been playing against, they're not having any fun, I can promise you that, because they don't even have a chance to win. I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh by supporting my brother and helping him along, making him a little bit more overpowered, uh, to show you that you don't even need to build your own troops when playing multiplayer. As long as you support the person that's using this strategy, you've won the game, and there's basically nothing they can do about it. Or at least nobody has shown me that they can do anything about it. The closest we ever came to losing a game was when we lost... One, no, we lost five of the Iron Troops, uh, and that was without me supporting him. He lost five Iron Troops to an entire four-player team, and uh, one of them had a bunch of flamethrowers, and it was the flamethrowers that actually ended up uh, killing five of his troops. One of the primary reasons that these units are so powerful is because they have a 60% range resistance. Now, I've taken a screenshot here. You can, uh, you can see me in the background, right? screenshot uh, during our match. And you can see kind of why they are as overpowered as they are. 60% uh, range resistance is not okay in any circumstance. That's going to make your musketeers, skirmishers, pretty much anything you send at these guys is not going to be able to deal with it at all. Uh, they're fast. They have 225 health. They have good range with 25 attack damage to start with. And you can see their modifiers to infantry and cavalry are listed here as well. So uh, you can see it visibly without any extra modifiers. We did not send any team cards, at least that I'm aware of, unless one of my brothers did. We've had cavalry thrown at these, uh, infantry, anything, pretty much anything you can think of to try and counter them. And the only luck anyone ever had was flamethrowers. And even then, the flamethrowers still ended up losing. Um, I am interested to see what a really, really good player uh, would do to counter these, but so far we have not run into anyone that was able to. I am interested to see if anyone playing as China specifically with flamethrowers could do something about it. So now I'll take you over to my brother and uh, he'll have a talk about what you need to get this going and show you of uh, some gameplay footage uh, with this in action. And again, I won't be helping for this assault, I will just be assisting him so he can make his better troops in my place. So I'm actually having to re-record this because it did not play my brother's sound uh, for whatever reason. So I will be going back over this, uh, explaining what he was trying to explain. The first card that you need here is the 300 food card. That is the first one you send. This will play out the same every single game in a 10 minute treaty. The second card you send is the 700 coin card. That will help you get to age three because you are doing an age three rush. The third card you get is Atonement, so that you may train these troops to begin with. And these will be the next two cards that you send in any given order, because you will have both of these cards sent out uh, before 10 minutes. And the 600 coin card here is to allow you to build more of these. So this is what you need. Everything else can be done in whatever order. Your goal is simply to rush to H3 and then get as much coin as possible to only train these troops here. And these are trained in your monastery, not your barracks. Uh, doesn't matter to me, because they're not going to get that far. Okay, well, it's actually quite good, uh, like, as far as quality goes. No, I I am sharing our secrets. I guess we can make comments, and I'll just have to super cut it. Okay, so I just sent Brandon 400 food and 100 wood. Okay, 600 more coin incoming. Yep, get all the uh, housing and stuff you need too. Sent you 500 more coin, a little more wood. I will not be supporting you with Janissary this time, just because I kind of want to see how they deal with it. 
Um, I instead of building Janissary to support you, I'm just straight up sending you what's left of my supplies. How about let's not what? That's funny. Look at those stats. 60% range resistance is absolutely ridiculous. Yep. Oh, not the surgeon. Yeah. Oops, samurai. Uh, here comes yellow from your left. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! That's Flandon. Okay. <laughs> it's just one giant curse word. Unfortunately, their siege d damage isn't the best. How did you get so many iron troops? It's a trade secret. <laughs> yeah. Uh Yeah. I uh well I was going to tell people about what we're doing anyway, so I figure why not. Even though it even though it would be much more fun to keep it to ourselves. Oh, Pink already quit the game. I guess uh he didn't like that very much. Hey, when you attack, attack right here. Alright, there go the Middle East. Yep, I, I think most people just don't know what the Iron Troops do exactly. The only minor counter to them is the Flamethrower, and even then, they got trashed. Great. That's okay. They'll end up patching it out and, uh, you know, I mean, you do this to enough people, they'll figure it out anyways. Hey, let's see uh, how the horses do. Oh, I was hoping they would fight you. I wanted to see. No, I feel like uh, his Nagata Riders, well, they wouldn't have actually been able to beat your army, but maybe he could have killed one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah. Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't trigger him. What if we give him the win and we all quit? No, 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 not yet. Let's get Spy so we can see him first. I'm going to move our army on top of him and then I'm going to quit. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to finish off this TC and then I'm going to quit. All right, I quit. I quit. <laughs> uh he got the win. <laughs> that was funny.
And that's it. If you want to do something about it, I would recommend going to the forums. My brother had put a post on there. I believe he used the username Colonel Jace. Uh, you can go over to the forums and say something about it if you've had this happen to you. So far, it looks like we are the only ones that have figured out how to do this. Um, but this will spread. Other people will figure it out. Uh, so it's better to hammer this out early, right? Get the information out there quickly uh, so people only suffer for a little while and uh, say something about it and then get it fixed quickly so this isn't a thing that goes on for years and years and years like uh, the old Age of Empires where Opfrictionic never got fixed for literally like a long time. They never got fixed for a very long time. Uh, so let, let's not make this one of those things. Let's get this fixed quick. Go to the forum, share the video, uh, tell people about it because if we don't fix this now, <clears throat> This is going to be another 10 or 20 years of uh, people abusing it and the silent majority just having to pay the price for it. Unfortunately, the post that we made about it got no attention at all. So if left alone, like it is right now, when we've tried to make the developers aware of it, it will be thrown into a corner and forgotten about and people will suffer as a result of it. So share this video, uh, go to the forums, go find my brother's post about it. Uh, Colonel Jace, I think is the name he was using, and uh, let's get it done, right?